to our oh, Thursday night training. Um, hopefully, uh, all of you will enjoy uh, what we have put together for you tonight. So I'm going to give you a quick background on who I have with me here and why it is important that you pay attention to what he has to say. Um, over the course of the last year, I have really tried to learn more about what I'm doing. Um, I have been sending emails for many years. Um, I've, you've all seen some of my stats, some of my stuff. I've made a lot of money sending emails. And as we always do on these, on these trainings, let me go ahead and preface this with, listen, you're going to see some uh, you know, revenue stats shared with you tonight. You're going to see some statistics shared with you. You're going to hear about stories of other people that have made money doing um, you know, these strategies that you're learning. Please note that that success is either their success, my success, respective party success. It does not mean that you're ever going to make a single dollar sending an email ever. So in no way, shape, or form are we saying this is typical. In fact, this is probably atypical. Very few people ever have any success sending emails. Are we all happy now with my, everybody understand the disclaimer. Even though there's nothing for sale, um, this is a requirement. And so I want to make sure we're all clear. Everybody understand the disclaimer. Just say yes in the chat box. Okay, good deal. So we can get going. Now, um, my guest with me tonight uh, is a good friend of mine now, but I started talking to him about a year ago when I found that he, he had some strategies, uh, as you can see here on the screen, monetization strategies, um, that blew my mind. They were next level. I considered myself a very smart email marketer. I had sent a lot of emails, made a lot of money sending those emails, um, built a lot of businesses um, from the ground up because of my ability to reach people with email. And then I met Rico, and I realized that I was not that smart. I realized that I might possibly need more training. And so I started talking with Rico, and uh, I, I literally was, I stopped everything last year to learn what he was doing, how he was doing it, and how I could apply it to my own business and to my own email marketing business because it was so next level that it literally, it, it took my attention away from everything I was doing. And so uh, I spent a lot of time with him, begged him to uh, come down to our condos in Florida and spend a couple of days with me. Then I, you know, he's obviously super busy. Um, he has never been on a webinar with us like this ever. Um, I don't know that I'll be able to convince him, um, you know, in the future to, to hop on these webinars with us because he's super busy. He's running a really big business and, you know, time is obviously uh, valuable. But he did introduce me to some of his students, uh, some of the people that he had been training, he had been teaching uh, to do what he was doing. And I got to tell you, I was, I was shocked. I was so shocked that I invited them all down to my offices uh, to spend two days teaching me and teaching my staff how to do what they were doing because it was so next level. And so as I was thinking about what to teach you and, and what to share with you, um, I, I thought about Rico and I said, man, I wonder, if, uh, I wonder if he'll hop on here and he'll teach our students uh, what he's doing and basically what his students taught me, if that makes sense, um, and obviously with his help. And so he agreed to do it. So I want everybody to realize this is a two-part session. That's why it says session one on the screen. Um, this training starts tonight. And it ends next Thursday night, same place, same time. So you'll want to make sure that you do not miss next week because obviously if you get the training today but you don't get next week's training, what good have you really done yourself, right? How many of you will commit right now to making sure that you are here obviously tonight and next week? Just go ahead and say yes. I want to make sure we're all committed. Okay, a few people say they're committed on their life. So this makes total sense. So I'm going to save this to make sure that you all actually attend. Okay, very, very valuable. And like I said, this guy is making a ton of money, having a ton of success. But what's super important to me, far more important than the amount of money he's making or the amount of success he has, is that I have firsthand knowledge. I have seen his students not only make a ton of money, 
but they're so smart that they've actually taught me things that I don't know and, and strategies that I never even knew exist. And this wasn't Rico. This was his students teaching me. How many of you would like to be one of those students? Just say yes. A student of Rico that knows so much, you can actually teach me things that I don't know, right? And look, you all know by now, I have no problem with telling you when there's somebody in the room that knows more than I know. Um, it is what it is, right? I know a lot of stuff, but there are people that know more. And if I have that, the, the opportunity to reach those people and I have the access to those people and I can bring them to you, put them right here on your computer screen, share an hour and a half or so of their knowledge with you, I'm going to do it and that's what I've done. So I want you to all put everything away, put your cell phones away, cut your TVs off. Nobody cares about basketball right now. Focus, pay attention, listen, and learn because the way to success is obviously to stay focused on the things that matter. This presentation and this training matters. It matters to you and it matters to the success of your business and obviously of your email marketing business. So with all of that said, I want to welcome Rico Davis. Rico, you here? I am here. Can you hear me? I can hear you well. Everybody say hey to Rico. Hey, guys. So I see a lot of people saying hey, Rico, in here. So Rico, I kind of gave you a brief introduction there, although I'm long-winded, so I don't know how brief it was. But um, I think everybody understands the value uh, of uh, that, that you bring to the table here, just being able to teach and train uh, both tonight and then again next Thursday. Um, so I want to turn it over to you and let you take, you know, Take the stage here and uh, and start teaching your strategies. Like I said, everybody, keep a pen and paper ready. We will record this, uh, but it's always better to listen, write, you know, take notes. You learn as you do that. So I'll let you take over, man, and, and get started. I'm excited to uh, excited to hear it, and I'm excited for all my students. Awesome. Uh, well, first off, I, thanks, Anthony, for that. That was a very, very gracious introduction, and again, I appreciate that. And, and you know, even though Anthony has, you know, said a lot about me, you know, I also want to just kind of bring it back to Anthony. You know, I've been following him for years, and, you know, when we got a chance to, to really hook up and, and, and kind of giving me the opportunity to work with his him and his company, I, that was a, an honor for me. So, you know, just to kind of being able to provide value uh, to somebody that was doing, uh, you know, massive numbers in, in other places is, is pretty cool. So uh, uh, thanks for uh, giving me the opportunity to speak to your guys, and hopefully I can give you guys some value today that you actually can take some action with and get some results uh, based on what you've learned up to this point. So uh, let's get started. All right, so um, like Anthony said, uh, this is I'm separating into two sessions because I didn't want to overwhelm you guys with too much too quickly. You know, I've, I've been doing consulting for a, a while now, and you know, I, I kind of have a good feel for like how much information is enough information where you can kind of absorb it, take it, and take some action with it. So we decided to kind of break this up into two sessions. So hopefully that works for you guys. Again, nothing for sale here. So you don't have to uh, worry about that. It's really just all about training, you know. And I uh, wanted to, uh, since Anthony asked me, just provide some value to you guys um, since you've invested in his course. Um, all right. So uh, with that said, um, Anthony kind of already mentioned earnings disclaimer, but I'll just reiterate it here. Um, just real quick, you know, obviously I might be talking about earnings and 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 uh, successes and things like that. Again, no guarantees uh, of of income uh, that you would have. You know, I can't guarantee. You know based on your, your experiences, you know, your, your uh, skill sets, you know, what you bring to the table and all that stuff. So Anthony kind of went over that, but I just wanted to reiterate that. So just real quickly about me, that's a picture of me. Um, again, my name is Rico Davis, founder and creator of Monetization Mastery, which is basically like a consulting um, curriculum that I've created over the year, years. Um, I own a company called ProMonetize, um, which really focuses more on data monetization where, you know, Yes, we have a part of our business that actually we teach people, you know, but we actually do it ourselves, and, and, and that's where we generate uh, the vast majority of our revenue is actually doing the stuff um, that we teach. Teaching is kind of just an added benefit uh, to be able to provide value on the successes that we've had with our own company, you know, and, and have other, um, and be able to uh, pass that on to other uh, people and companies so that they can, uh, you know, increase their margins, uh, increase value for, for whatever they're doing in their business. Um, so, so real quick, you know, just a little bit about me. Um, I've been generating income online since 2002. Um, however, I, I didn't actually start doing this full time until 2007. Um, I um, have a degree in finance, uh, 
and uh, I've worked in the corporate finance space and you know financial analysis, financial sales, a bunch of different jobs within the corporate financial industry for a number of years since I, after I graduated college up until the point where I decided that I wanted to do this, making money online full time. Um, so since really making the transition from corporate America to an online marketer on a full-time basis. I've helped my clients generate over $20 million since then, and that number goes up every month um, because we're actively working with you know companies that, uh, that that we work with that have generated already themselves seven and eight figures a year in their own businesses, and we kind of come in there to help them generate an extra 30% in revenue mainly through the uh, the practices of email marketing. And that's how powerful uh, we found that email marketing is. Even to successful companies, we can increase their margins substantially just by implementing a few simple things, you know. Uh, so uh, that's been a pretty cool, cool experience for the last eight years at this point or so. Um, so, so yeah, so basically, um, that, in a nutshell, you know, I could go into my whole life story, but I'm not going to do that right now. Um, but, but at the end of the day, I'm a business coach. I, I'm an author. I, I, I do a, I've done a newsletter for the last about two years or so. Um, and I've spoken at different uh, events all over the world. I've spoken in Costa Rica, in Turkey, uh, in Mexico. Um, so uh, um, so uh, that's been pretty cool. You know, I at the end of the day, though, uh, I specialize in lead generation and monetization. So the, the title of this presentation is called Monetization Pathways. I'm going to explain what, what all that means. So if you're kind of like, well, what is, I don't know what this stuff means. How is this relating to, to email marketing? I'm going to kind of bring it all together to you, for you guys, but I really want to uh, kind of make sure that you understand uh, the bigger picture of things. And then as I start to kind of define some things, you guys are all on the same page. Um, but yeah, so my specialization is lead generation and monetization. So. Um, when I started doing this full time in 2007, I was managing email. I was managing media buys. I was managing marketing campaigns uh, that were as high as seven figures a month. So we were managing uh, campaigns on on uh, Google. Um, this is before really Facebook really became popular. Uh, doing media buys, banner ads, and then I, I really got deeper into the email side of things, what we call email monetization, which I'll explain further. Um, so uh, so basically that I was kind of the behind the scenes guy um, and I kind of got thrown out into you know by a couple of my mentors to say, hey, you need to teach this stuff to people. And that's kind of how I got into the, the coaching and consulting. But um, at the end of the day we do this day in and day out. We're deep into the into uh, into the game as we call it. So uh, uh, I'm going to be talking about that piece um, so that you guys can kind of you know, use what you've been learning from Anthony in his course and, and kind of just uh, integrate it uh, to really take your stuff to the next level. Cool. All right. So uh, just real quick, I have a guide. It's free. There's nothing for sale. Again, monetize or die. It kind of goes over, you know, this principle of email marketing, lead generation, and, and the power of what we do and, and how scalable it is and kind of opens your minds to, to the power of um, – of of what we do, online marketing, and, and what's really possible. So you can take a look at Monetize or Die. You know, just uh, it's a manifesto I wrote a few years ago. Um, again, nothing for sale there. Uh, so um, what I wanted to start with is just a, a few definitions of things. Um, monetize. Basically, you'll hear me use that word a lot. It's in my company name. It's in our curriculum, Monetization Mastery. My company name is Pro Monetize. I, I like that word, and you will see me use it a lot, and you know, I, I try to get clever with it. Um, so obviously, I want you to understand what that means. You know, I don't want to be using words that you, you guys don't really understand the, the, the true definition of. But at the end of the day, monetize simply means to convert to, con to con currency. So it's just like it, it could be anything. You know, you're converting something that is, you know, there, just an idea essentially, and you're and you're making money with it. You're taking, in in our case, we're going to be talking about taking an email address and making it money. All right. So that's at the end of the day, the heart of what we're talking about. What what Anthony, you know, in this uh, in, in this course, has been talking about how to take an email address and make it make money for you essentially. So uh, and we call that email monetization. I mean, in in a nutshell, uh, that's what we call it. And in my years of doing this stuff, online marketing, I mean, doing media buys, pay-per-click, banner ads, all, we, I, we, I've done it all, PPV, Facebook. Uh, what I found, you know, is that when we really get deeper into the email monetization side that, you know, it, everything was much, became much more sustainable and stable. Um, and uh, I want to really emphasize the power of email marketing. You know, if, if you're doing other types of 
traffic generation, like if you're doing Facebook or, or whatever else you're, you may be doing or may want to implement eventually, you always want to be taking consideration that you want email as your foundation. Look at it as the foundation to your business. I've, take, I've worked with companies that are you know, generating you know, $100,000 a month you know, and not hardly doing any emails. Where we come in there, we revamp their their back end, and you know now that they're they're increasing their margins um, much, you know, thirty forty percent just from the emails that they weren't monetizing before. So it's a huge thing, and you know the the way that we look at it. One of the things that I tell my students, my my staff, and everything when we really um, start training people is you know email traffic is the glue that holds the internet together. So if you're if you're looking at this uh, uh, on a bigger level, you know, cuz I come from the corporate finance world, you know. So I think of things as like how sustainable is this? What's what what's the growth potential? You know, what's where's this going to be at in 10, 20, 30 years from now? Um, when I look at all the different things that there's a ton of ways to make money online, obviously you guys uh, are aware of, um, email traffic is 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 no matter how you're making money online, at some point, email, an email address, email marketing comes into play at some point. So essentially, you can't do anything without an email address, all right? And so, you know, when you think about email and how it ties into the internet in general, it's, it's the glue that holds it together. Um, so we always keep that in mind, you know, so, you know, when we're going, scaling our companies or helping companies scale, you know, through all the ups and downs, it's like do not lose sight of the power of email marketing, regardless of all the things that you're going through. Um, and you know, at the end of the day, you know, we're we're a business that teaches people how to generate revenue. All right, um, and you know, we could kind of get all you know, like uh, you know, an email address is you know, these are people, and, and you know, they're they're actual people that are opening emails. And yes, that's true. That's absolutely true. And you want to make sure that when you're having a conversation with somebody via email that you're building some type of relationship, you're, you're giving them relevant and valuable content. Um, of course, that is without a doubt. But at the end of the day, when we look at it from a number standpoint, like again, I come from the corporate finance background, it's like, okay, what do the numbers look like? You know, at the end of the day, you know, if we're, say, selling a company, you know, one of the things that, because um, I, I have uh, some mentors who are venture capitalists who buy companies, you know, and, and if they're looking at to buy a company, they're like, well, how big is the database? How many people do they have in their database? Which essentially would be like, how many email addresses do they have? How many contacts people do they have? They're looking at that stuff as a commodity. That's something that that, that can be sold. You you could you know so so when you when you think of it, you know, obviously you want to be building relationships, you know, uh, providing value, relevant content. But at the end of the day, you want to be looking at the numbers, which I'll be talking about next session in, in much more detail, as a commodity from the standpoint, like, hey, this email address, if I provide relevant and valuable content to this person, this email address over time could be worth this much to me, and then you can start to do some pretty cool calculations that way. So, um, so I'm going to be talking about this stuff from that angle so you guys can uh, kind of understand how we kind of do this stuff. All right. So is everybody with me at this point so far? Just want to make sure I haven't lost anybody yet. You guys are good? All right, cool, 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 excellent, 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 cool. All right, so uh, basically, in this session, you know, there's a lot of things that we could, I could talk about because we, I, again, we do this day in and day out. So I could, there's so many different topics within the email marketing side of things that I could go through because, uh, again, you know, there was a lot of stuff that that we taught Anthony and you know, and, and his, you know, one of our uh, best students. Um, they actually taught Anthony a lot of stuff that we taught them, um, which actually worked out well. Um, as far as uh, they they really kind of just you know gave them uh, gave him a, a lot of stuff, which was fantastic. It's pretty cool when you teach people and they're able to teach people very effectively, um, in, in in a way that they uh, uh, that it works fantastically well. Um, but what I wanted to kind of get back to is like you know um, the concept that I'm talking about today is a monetization pathway. Um, so at the end of the day, a monetization path pathway is a fancy term for sales funnel, all right? But it's not in the way that we define it. It's not just a simple sales funnel where like, oh, let me uh, send somebody to an opt-in page and then try to send them to a video sales letter and try to get them to buy a product. Um, yes, that could be a monetization pathway, but the way that we're going to be talking about it is a little different um, that is very effective for us to, in that you know, we, we do some series volume with. So at the end of the day, like I said before, monetization pathway is just a fancy term for a funnel, a marketing funnel, a sales funnel, what have you. Um, but the reason we use those terms, I'll kind of explain in a second here. Um, 
so basically, um, at the end of the day, this is kind of a, a, a rough and uh, dirty diagram of like a pathway. All right. So you have your traffic sources. You know, it could be you know Facebook, Google, wherever, solo ads, whatever you're doing. All right. You're sending people to an opt-in page. Somebody opts in, and then after they opt in, you give them something. You know, either through an email follow-up, as you see down here. These would be email follow-ups that are selling them things. You know, some things may cost a, a few dollars. Some things may cost more money. If some things may cost a lot more money, and you're making a commission off of them. You guys all understand that, and I'm pretty sure you know if you're on this webinar, you you've been through uh, Anthony's course, and you understand the basics of of that. So it's it, at the end of the day, that's a pathway, all right. Um, and again, like I said, I'm going to be talking about you know more specifics to to the type of way that we generate leads, but I really wanted to make sure that I set the foundation strong before I start going into all that stuff right right away. So um so we generate leads in a lot of different markets. Um you know so we're, we uh, we don't generate leads like in the make money online stuff. Like we do do that, but uh, most of our leads are outside of that space. Um, so uh, essentially, these are the top ten online markets. You know, and a lot of stuff that we do is in the um, in the financial space. So not necessarily specifically with uh, you know how how to make money online type space, but more like uh, you know uh, getting loans and grants and insurance and things of that nature. Um, I come from that background, you know, um, so that was when we kind of really decided what niches we were going to focus on. That's where we started, you know, years ago. We kind of just have grown with that. Um, but we also are, are pretty heavy in the health and fitness space as well, more of the, uh, the, the uh, health like diet and, and things like that and, 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 um, uh, and things like that. And I guess, you know, people with skin care and products and things, like, and things of that nature as well. But a lot of our revenue is, is through the, the financial space. All right. So, um, you know, so what I'm trying to get at is that the stuff that I'm going to be talking about is not just for one specific market or specific niche. Um, this is like literally multi-billion dollar stuff. You know, we work with billion dollar companies, you know, who are generating leads for, um, and they can take as much volume as we can give them essentially. Um, and we like playing in that field because it's scalable, it's sustainable, and um, and it, we just make a ton of, we can make a ton of money doing that. All right. But at the end of the day, uh, like I was getting back uh, to, you know, um, the bigger picture of this stuff, you know, when you do, when you're building a list or when you're generating leads, you know, that you're able to market to over and over again. Essentially, you own your traffic. You know, a lot of people are clamoring like, "Oh, I need to get traffic. I need to get traffic." You know, and yes, you definitely always want to be getting new leads coming into your funnels, into your, uh, to your opt-ins um, or what have you. But when you have those people in on your list, you know, essentially you own that traffic. That is your traffic source. All right, so you want to keep that in mind, um, you know, because I've worked with clients who've come to me. Um, one guy, you know, was, was on the verge of tears, you know, because he had built this huge list. And uh, it was like 100,000 people. He had, had his, his, his offer, you know, it was like a product. And it was, he was uh, teaching people how to fill out surveys, you know, to make money. And he had a 30-day autoresponder sequence, and after that, he, he was like, oh, well, I, I didn't make any more money after that, you know. So he was just sitting on this list, and he didn't send him any more emails, and he was like, oh, I can't afford you guys coaching right now. And, and we said, okay, well, what do you have? Like, what, 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 you know, let's see how we can work something out, because we knew he had a product, and he was building out a list. And we looked, and we were like, you have 110,000 people on your list. When's the last time you emailed them? And he was like, oh, well, I, I discontinued the product, so you know they've just been sitting there, and I didn't know what to send to them. And I was like, okay, well, what we're going to do is we're going to send some emails to this list. And I think it was like maybe six months or so since he hadn't sent anything to them. And that list was generating about three thousand dollars a day, just from the emails that we sent. And and you know that will we didn't have to create a product, we have to do any of that. We just said we sent these emails, and I was like, well, you don't have to pay us for coaching at all. We'll just you know this is obviously you you were sitting on an asset. You you were sitting on your own track source and you didn't even realize it you know so um, how so for you for those of you who are building your your lists and you're building your leads um, like do not underestimate the power of, of the email addresses that you have on, on in your database do not underestimate it you know some days you make, make may make more money than other days some days you may have fantastic days some days you may have terrible days but at the end of the day do not underestimate it do not abandon your list um, you know, uh, because you had a bad day or a bad couple of days, um, you will. Um, the, the deeper you get into this, the more you realize like uh, how valuable uh, an email address is. All right. So um, I just had a screenshot here, just um, 
this is some examples of different accounts that we have for different campaigns, you know, like different, um, you know, lists um, that we generate leads for, you know, and, you know, so uh, this is just a very small fraction of, of uh, the leads, but just to get, give you a good idea of, you know, this is money, like when we, uh, I think one thing I mentioned to Anthony at one point, um, with uh, generating leads and you know we were like this is like a bank account you know it's like an account for us you know if we have 50,000 people in on the email list like that is money in the bank for us like we know you know specifically with certain campaigns like how much money that is worth to us you know so we're not just going to necessarily just give that to somebody uh, so um so that's how we look at this and, and and I want you guys to make sure that you're taking that consideration I think from my from the coaching from the, the that I've done from the people that I work with, um, when people look at it from that standpoint, they, they take it much more seriously, and uh, and uh, which means that they 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 are more focused. They they look at it from a different perspective. Like my uh, business partner uh, Ben Ben Williams, um, when I, I started, we started working together back in 2007. And we would get leads coming in. We would get, you know, maybe 2,000 leads a day coming in. And we knew at that time that each lead we knew, like each lead was worth anywhere from, you know, 50 cents to us. Like that, by the end of the day, if we generate 2,000 leads, we would have made $1,000. Like we knew that. So when we, he saw those leads coming in, he was like, this is money in the bank. You know, it's like this is like cash. You know, we see an email address, we see money, you know. And, and, and when we started looking at it like that, it was like, okay, well, Let's scale that out. So uh, when you look at it from the number standpoint, you know, then it's like then you can say, okay, this is serious. We can. This is a really serious thing that can be really scaled out pretty significantly. Um, and the way that we scale this stuff out, and kind of, I'm kind of getting to the main point of, of what I'll be talking about here, but I wanted to make sure I set the foundation uh, good for you. Is is cost per action marketing? Um, how many people, just by a yes or no, are familiar with cost per action marketing, also known as CPA marketing? Just with a yes or no. All right, so yes, no, a couple mixes. Uh, uh, it's like 50, 50, uh, 60, 40, I can't tell. Um, okay, so yeah, some of you guys are more familiar with it than others. Okay, I just wanted to give you a good feel so um, you guys understand that. Um, so I can understand like where, where, where the, uh, the audience is today. So I just needed to take a drink of water there. Okay, so anyway, cost per action marketing. Um, essentially, at the end of the day, um, there are um, companies that will pay you money um, that uh, if you just generate a lead for them, you know, some in some cases somebody could just enter a zip code into a form and you would get paid six dollars in some cases or you know five dollars just for for somebody entering a zip code, all right, or you may get paid. You might get paid thirty dollars for somebody completing out a very short form um, to the point where you know you could do that a hundred times a day. And it doesn't matter if that person ever buys anything. And in some cases, there may not be anything to buy on the front. They might have to get, they might have to get a phone call before that person actually, you know, is monetized, as we would call it. Um, so that's where we make most most of our money from. We make most of our money from lead generation offers, where we are generating leads for companies. Some companies, you know, billion dollar companies, you know, and it could be insurance companies, it could be loan companies, credit card companies, things of that nature. And they will take as many leads as we can give to them, and those leads don't actually have to spend any money at all for us to get paid from them. So somebody could just enter their zip code and enter a form, and we will make money. You know, this is, um, you know, the stuff that you know most of my students are doing. You know, and and, and stuff that we showed Anthony is is revolves around that, which is essentially a uh, it's it's CPA marketing, but more specifically, it's lead generation marketing basically where somebody is we're just generating lead for a company they know the value of that lead to them even if they even if it takes them 90 days to make the money back that they paid us they know the, the value of it and and that's why we like CPA marketing because we can get paid um, a, a decent amount of money a, a, you know for a very simple act and that action could be just somebody completing a form. So that's why it's called cost per action because, you know, you're getting paid for an action. It doesn't necessarily have to be somebody buying something. In a lot of cases, if we do market things that somebody has to buy, for instance, one of our clients who owns a um, health supplement business and they have, you know, seven or eight different products that we help them, we manage their email uh, marketing campaigns, um, you know, they sell free trial offers. So it will be like somebody will pay, you know, $4 for a free trial, you know, you know, and they're paying their affiliates forty-five dollars in some cases. You know, why can they do that? Because they know the value of that lead. So, you know, when you're when you're able to um, work with companies that that know the value of their leads and they can take massive amounts of leads, it's a very good 
you know, eight figure type of situation where you're making, you know, um, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars a month, you know, and, and up. So, uh, you know, even just a thousand dollars a day, you know. So basically, it, it with very uh, little little effort um, in regards to trying to sell somebody to buy a ninety-seven dollar product, for instance. All right. Um, so basically, uh, what I wanted to do um, is, is is kind of show you some examples of monetization pathways. Um, that's kind of what I'm going to spend most of the time doing, so you guys can so you can see the visuals behind it. Um, and then uh, and then next week I'm going to go um, much more deeper into um, like the numbers. Like I'm going to talk about a few case studies, um, uh, but I didn't want to overwhelm you guys. Now, if you have questions as I go through these, uh, please feel free to. Uh, Show them in here, but I'm going to be talking a lot about um, some monetization pathways. All right. Okay. So can can you guys see my screen here? Okay. Cool. All right. Um, so basically, this is an example of a, a monetization pathway. I'm going to be talking about several different ones, so you guys can see just how many ways there are to to, to monetize leads, all right. So this is, you know, it's just it's uh, you know, a, bl a blog almost like, you know, and um, and th this is a, a a pretty decent one, you know. It's it's promoting a, a health product. This is actually somebody who is sending traffic to Amazon.com. So for those of you who may uh, do stuff with Amazon, you know, this might be something you can kind of mimic. Um, so essentially, you have a short article about you know um, how you know how to lose weight with uh, this product. Um, and at the bottom, they get somebody to enter their name and the email address to get a coupon. You click on this, and it goes to an Amazon page. Um, so essentially, this is a pathway, all right, because they're collecting the email address. One of the things that we do, and, and that made a huge difference in our business, is I'll, I'll just give you an example right now. Like this page here, we've we've created a lot of pages like this in the past. But what we would usually do in the past is we would just send somebody right to the offer. You know, like some people, they you know, it's like we we advertise on you know Facebook or Google or wherever and we send people to this page they would click and they would go to the offer we wouldn't collect the email address we wouldn't collect any data all we would do is send them to the offer and we would get paid a commission we would make money doing that but it was not easy because um, if it was like basically we had no opportunity to to um, to make another sale, you know. Now, if we collected the email address for, you know, in this case, people get a coupon, then we can follow up with them by email. And you know, and obviously, for those of you who understand what retargeting or, or remarketing is, you know, you can say oh, I could put a pixel and advertise them to other places. Yes, you can. But with the email side of things, that's the most effective way uh, to be able to um, monetize on the back end, which when you know, at the, after they've entered their information, you can keep. Um, marketing to them, develop a relationship with them, and they will probably buy more things from you. On the, on, um, and in the case of CPA marketing, they don't even need to buy any in things. Now, this thing, this is here. Somebody has to to buy, uh, you know, but they get a free trial in this case. All right. So I wanted to show you a couple different examples of monetization pathways, and I'm going to show you a lot of the stuff that we do, where nobody has to spend any money um, for us to to make money. All right. So does that make sense so far? I just want to make sure that everybody is is understanding this stuff. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, and I see a couple questions that I'll, I'll definitely get to. There, there's some good questions here. Okay. Awesome. 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 Okay. Lots of yeses. Yeses. Okay. Okay. So here's another site um, for those of you who are in the CPA marketing world. Um, and, uh, and when I say CPA marketing world, it, it's it's really different. Like if you if you are a CPA marketer, if you're Focusing on making money with CPA offers, it's it's a and you're deep into that. It's a different world than say if you're just promoting like a ClickBank product or something like that. Um, you know, not to say that it, there's anything wrong with either one, but it's you know where you're just focusing on generating leads for people versus like trying to get somebody to buy something. Um, so it's a different it's a different hey, mindset. Rico, um, yeah. I wanted I wanted to just chime in because I heard you say something that I wanted to really highlight <clears throat> for everyone, and um, and you know I kind of know what I've been teaching them obviously. And so it, I want to I want to make sure they all caught on to something. Um, you were talking about about collecting the email address and how important it is uh, to collect the email address prior to sending people to an offer, right? Um, yep. Okay. So everyone on here, you all know that obviously having an email address means you have the ability to remarket to that person for you know no cost per acquisition, right? You've already paid your cost. 
to build your email list, right? So obviously you have the small fee that you get charged to, to send the email, but essentially you're able to go back out to that email database <coughs> at, for no cost, right? So that's number one most important thing to, to keep in mind is that when you capture the email, you build the list, you can re-promote to that list. When I first started doing uh, affiliate marketing online, I actually promoted credit cards. Um, I built my business where I was doing 200000 plus dollars a month um, promoting credit cards online. I had actually had no clue what I was doing. And I, I literally just kind of, I don't know, I did this, I pressed that, somehow I made $200,000 a month. It was uh, crazy. But one thing I did not do was I did not capture any email addresses. So fast forward a year or two later and uh, Google made some changes, Yahoo made some changes, all of a sudden my ads that were in first place or up high in search engines all of a sudden vanished and what was I left with? Well I was left with websites that used to make $200,000 and all of a sudden they were only making $20,000. But if I had been capturing email addresses along the way I would have had a massive database, just a massive database of people that had opted in that I knew were interested in credit cards and I could have just been sending out email newsletters about different credit cards, different rewards, different perks for a long time to come and would have been able to make money from it. So that's literally a, a real life example of a business that was doing $200,000 a month, somebody else somewhere made a change and all of a sudden poof the $200,000 is gone and I have nothing left to show for it. I mean, I've got the money, but I don't have any assets. So these email lists are assets when you build them. And point number two, just, and, and I'll, I'll let Rico take back over, but Rico, you mentioned about Facebook. Um, one of the things that Facebook lets you do, and you know, we'll talk more about it in our later uh, webinars, is they let you do, they let you build custom audiences. So if you're looking at the screen right now, um, well, maybe, uh, let's see, maybe not this particular one. I don't know what this was about. I know you had something up here about weight loss or something, but basically, okay, so say for instance this. Uh, this is a weight loss page. All right, if someone were to click that Add to Cart button and they had to opt in to Rico's email list in order to buy that product, that email list, okay, that, they're gonna, that, they're, that you're going to build can actually be uploaded to Facebook and you can create a what they call a custom audience. So what does that do? Well, we know that the person that lands on this page right here and puts their name and email into that is probably someone that's interested in losing weight. That's what it's all about. So with that, you can actually make sure that when those people are on Facebook, they are actually seeing advertisements from you because you've built a custom audience and you're marketing to them on Facebook. So that's a little more in depth, but I heard Rico mention something about it and I wanted to bring it up, that your email list, say, two years ago, was super powerful, like Rico's saying. I mean, it was massively powerful because you've got that asset. You can send an email. You can press a button. You can reach people. You can sell things. You can generate leads. You can make money. But Facebook has added another layer of profitability to an email list, giving you the ability to create custom audiences and then basically take that email list and target them on Facebook with ads. So two, two different reasons why this is super important. How many of you understand that, that there's multiple reasons why an email list is important? It's not always just because you can press send. It's also because you can target these people on a platform that, you know, let's face it, most everybody is on every single day, right? Okay, good. I wanted to just highlight that and point that out because in the future we'll talk more about it and I wanted to make sure you were clear. So I'll let you take back over. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, that, that's a fantastic point. And, and we do a lot of that, uh, you know, where we take our lists, <laughs> like a really large list, and upload them to Facebook. I remember the first time we did it and it was like 60% of the emails matched up with Facebook. Uh, you know, we could like advertise. I was like, this is uh, freaking fantastic. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, if you're... If you're um, uh, what Anthony said is it's super powerful and it's, it's another just way to monetize your list uh, ways that you didn't you couldn't do that you a few years ago so um, it's, it's a it's a big deal it's a really big deal um, okay yeah so uh, I, this one here this is a CPA offer this is and for those of you some of you like where do we get these offers um, 
we could I, we could talk about that. Um, you know, but uh, there's places called CPA networks. There's networks that have these types of offers, and they you know if if you have a list or if you have traffic, they will happily take you into their network and pay you money for generating leads for these type of offers. Um, and there's a lot of them out there. And um, but but as far as uh, as far as this particular offer, this this is a, a actual CPA offer that people are this. Uh, site generates thousands of leads a day. You know, um, just you know, giving resources. You know, for people who are looking to you know um, get career-related resources, financial-related resources. So on the outset, it's just a simple opt-in page. It looks really simple. Again, this is a simple monetization page. Um, but uh, one thing I want you to, to be aware of is that anybody can create these pages. This is not a very complex page. So when you opt into this page here, um, you know. Uh, it's, first off, when you opt into this page, uh, this offer, if somebody puts their name and email address, I believe this offer pays, it may be like 3 or $4 for that information. All right. So essentially, uh, you, if you're sending traffic here, or if this was your page, you know, you essentially you know that, if, for instance, if somebody's paying me $4 for this information here, I know that they're probably making, you know, twice as much as that, you know, on the back end, you know, through through what we call their monetization pathway. So again, this is a classic example of a monetization pathway that we've used for years in, in several different um, verticals and our niches. Um, so essentially when you opt into this page, this is you kind of get redirected here. All right. So this is this is important. Um, so I'm going to kind of go through this so that you guys can kind of grasp uh, what, what this is, and um, somebody asked what CPA stands for. CPA stands for cost per action, so that means you're getting paid for an action. In this case, uh, you know, this offer, let's say, pays four dollars. You're getting paid a CPA, a cost per action of four dollars when somebody enters their name and email address here. They don't have to buy anything; um, they just have to enter their email address here because they know if somebody takes the time to enter their email address here, they, from their own data, because you know most of the time these these CPA networks and, and the offers on the networks, they know how much a lead is worth to them. So if a lead's worth ten dollars to them, they'll happily pay an affiliate, you know, four dollars or three dollars for that, you know, um, for that privilege, and uh, and they'll take all the leads they can get. All right. So let's see here. Um, so this is this is a pathway. It's kind of what I wanted to get at here. Now, um, this is an offer. All right. So. Uh, this says, does a health condition prevent you from working? Um, this is an offer. Let me see if, if I click it. If, okay, so it'll jump to an offer. Okay, so this offer here is for Social Security disability benefits, and I don't want. I'm not going to get like specific to the offers, but I just want you to understand like how this works, where nobody has to spend any money for you get pay, for you to get paid. All right. So let's say you you built out a site like this that is really simple, you know, or you know, you use some softwares out there that you know that are out there that can build these things for you. Um, Somebody clicks here, they go to this page, they're interested in it, they fill this offer out. You know, this offer pays, you know, $15, you know, just for this information. They don't have to buy anything or anything like that. So as you can understand, that is very powerful. You know, this is a very popular offer, a very popular CPA offer, all right? So we do a lot of volume to these types of offers, all right? So um, so this is the pathway part that I wanted to go over with. So, so kind of follow with me if, if this is all very new to you guys. All right, so somebody's opted in. All right, they've opted in here. They go to this page first. They can decide if they're interested in this offer. So it says resources that can help you. But what if they're not interested in this offer? What's well, they, they're going to click continue? And we've we've actually tracked you know how many people click continue and 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 all on these type of offers we would usually put like the best converting offer first. You know so we can not, so we can maximize the amount of people that go through it. But the point is is that. Uh, you're monetizing people on more than one more than one time in a sequence, you know. So essentially, they're going to click continue. Now they go to another offer, a CPA offer. All right. So this is all in one pathway. So that's why we use the term pathway. So it's not like they're just opting in and going to like a, a video sales letter or something like that. We're taking them through a series of steps. Um, in this case, the, the, this offer is taking them through a series of steps. Um, to see what offers they're interested in, and you know they can go through and click multiple offers, which which happens. Um, so this one is for getting unsecured loan. So let's click this one. So this one is for. Um, let's see if it's loading here. Of course, it's going to be slow. But um, 
let's see, we'll just let that load. Okay. So this one is for a, a what we call a payday loan offer, a cash advance offer. All right. So this offer, depending on you know um, how it works, most of the time you know you you can either get paid for somebody completing this form, so they just fill out these little uh, form boxes here, and then they click get cash now. Um, now they might get now sometimes this offer may pay when somebody completes this form. Um, in some cases, they may pay when they complete the form on the second page, which is called a second page submit. So if I click here, then there's a longer form. You know, and this offer could pay up to you know fifty, sixty, seventy, even eighty, ninety dollars. Um, you know, because this, there's a lot more information. But they, the, the person who's filling out this form, does not have to spend any money at all. They actually get money. All right. So, um, so you understand the power of um, this is lead generation marketing essentially. Um, and and these offers literally, you know, take thousands of leads a day. Like affiliates and CPA marketers are sending these companies thousands. In, in some cases, tens of thousands of leads a day, you know, um, so you just have to, you know, this is a very uh, a big industry. It's not something like where, you know, you, it's like you can send a, a couple hundred here and a couple hundred there and the, and the offer says, oh, I can't take any more traffic. You know, it's like they can take as much as you can send to them in most cases. Um, all right, so you can continue to the next step. So in this case, this one is for um, insurance, you know, or uh, financial compensation, you know, uh, where, you know, if you've been injured, uh, you can get um, a claim. So I'm, go and I'm, go I'm going to go through all these so you can see the different types of offers. So you're not just limited to, like, one offer or one type of offer. You know, a lead that originally comes in through this page who's interested in, you know, uh, financial related resources can be marketed all these types of offers that convert. So this offer can pay um, as much as $100 for this information, you know. Um, so uh, that's a lot of, that's, you know, just for them filling out, uh, filling out these forms. So if you kind of add it up, you know, if you, if, if hypothetically, let's say if, if they're filling out every single offer, which most of them aren't going to fill out every single offer, but let's just do the math and see, you know, how much potential revenue is there. So this one pays fifteen dollars. This one pays up to you know uh, usually anywhere from you know uh, fifty to ninety dollars, depending on how much information you have to fill out. Um, and then you have this one that pays you know hundred dollars or more in some cases. You know you're you're talking about you know one hundred and fifty close to two hundred dollars just off of those offers, just from somebody filling out a form and not having to actually spend any money. Um, so when you think about that on a large scale. Um, it, it can start getting uh, pretty pretty fun when you're when you're doing this in a, in a lot of volume. Um, so then it goes to the next one. So again, it, it keeps going. You know, there's a lot of different things that people can go to. This is a financial, um, an auto um, finance offer, which actually are pretty popular um, nowadays. Be uh, basically people looking to get auto loans. Again, this is all very relevant to what they opted into. So it's not like we're just promoting one type of offer. These are all offers that we can that we can market to these people. Um, so, you know, again, this offer, um, I, we haven't run this offer, but the usual payout for this type of thing where somebody just completes a, a, a short form, um, you know, could be, you know, 10 to $12, all right? And this is a very popular offer, auto loans. People are always looking for auto loans, um, and uh, these, these are really popular uh, amongst uh, this type of traffic, all right? So, um, all right, so let's keep it moving here. Um, so we, there, and there's several offers. So the point is, this is this is a typical, uh, uh, a classic. I won't say typical. It's a classic monetization pathway. Um, so basically, this is 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 how you know people do this. Now, this one is for um, a, a credit card. You know, people um, and like Anthony was talking about, he was marketing credit cards. You know, there's a lot of different ways that people are marketing credit card offers. In this case, you know, this one, they're marketing uh, credit card offers through a monetization pathway. So this one, I, you know, I don't know how much this one pays, but, uh, you know, I know that somebody just has to complete this information here and they get paid money. All right. Um, somebody was asking, which is a good question, you know, how big does your list have to be to consider this? You, you, you don't have to have a specific list size. You can start, um, first off, you don't need to build out this pathway yourself. There's not, uh, there's softwares and there's, and there's, companies that do this type of stuff for you. The, what I'm really trying to show is, is the power of lead generation marketing and how you can take somebody, you could take a simple form like this right here and, and, and use all these um, opportunities to monetize them. Um, after I kind of go through this, I'm going to really simplify, but I wanted to kind of show you the kind of the bigger picture and, and show you what's possible, but I can also show you what's possible without having to, you know, get fancy through a pathway like this as well. Um, but this is, you know, this is how uh, 
guys are making money. So, you know, at that point, you know, it kind of takes you to the next step where you, if you can get a cash advance and, and things like that. So I'm not going to go through all of this, but the point is, is that this stuff works very well. Um, and uh, it's it's um, it's a huge business. It's a big business. It's it's a multi-billion dollar business. Lead generation marketing, where you're just generating leads for companies, and they happily pay for each lead. All right. So let's say that you're like, okay, this is that seems pretty complex. That seems pretty advanced, Rico. Um, me trying to build out all these pages to try to monetize with different CPA offers. Yeah, and you know, for the average person who's never done that, that that would be pretty complex. Um, but let's just think of it from a more simplistic standpoint. I'm sure you guys can create a simple opt-in page that's similar to this, you know, where you can simply say, okay, opt-in here, um, and then when somebody opts in, you just send them to an offer, a CPA offer. You don't have to send them through a, a complex pathway. You say they opt in here, and then you send them to a CPA offer. Um, and now you have their email address, and all of these, um, let me just pull it back up, all of these different offers here, instead of sending them through like a pathway, you could send them in follow-up emails. So you can use this example as a, like um, what we do is we try to diversify what we market to people. We don't if we're if we're um, if people are interested in financial resources, we don't want to just keep marketing auto loans to them all day long because somebody who's interested in auto loans may also be interested in repairing the credit and, and, and things like that. So there's other things that is, are going to be relevant to that list. And if you're positioning yourself as, hey, I can give you access to different financial resources, which we do, we position ourselves, we, our companies, our sites that we, we generate leads like this for, as we will provide you these type of resources. So be on the lookout for, for these in your email. So when they get emails about this a credit card finder today, and then maybe a couple of days later, they get one about auto loans, and they get you know, one about you know uh, you know getting uh, compensation for an injury. You know they will there will be people who click and there will be people who open and convert. All right. So just from just sending simple follow up emails, uh, um, it's a way to uh, to really monetize effectively your email list that you build out. Okay. Um, all right. So uh, is everybody following me before I go to, on to the next example here? Okay, cool. Yeah, a lot of people are getting into specifics like how many times you send out per week and, and you know, uh, and all that stuff. Um, it, it, there's no set answer. You know, it's, it, like sometimes we might send out daily, sometimes we might send out twice a week. It, it really depends on on our, our goal with that list that we're building because we're not just building one list. You know, we have a, a team and, and, and we have some teams that are focusing on specific verticals or specific niches and we're doing different type of monetization with them. Um, so there's no set answers, but um, I'd be happy to kind of get into, into more of that uh, next week when I'll get more to the specifics. But I wanted to kind of talk more from a higher level point so you guys can understand the bigger picture with this stuff. Because um, I know some people are asking some questions uh, uh, that are a bit more advanced, for, uh, but, uh, but again, I, I want to make sure that I get all of your questions answered. Okay, so this one here is another lead generation offer. Now this one is, is very, um, I don't even call it advanced, but it, it's, I, I want to kind of show you how it works and then show you how you can use it to build your own pathway out. Now these sites are simple. I mean there's, there's site, there's um, services out there like um, most of you guys have probably heard of like lead pages or, or click funnels or other services that you unbound, um, that you can create your own opt-in pages with. Like you can, you, you can look at these type of offers on CPA networks and you can say, hey, I like this offer, let me use my own opt-in page software that I'm using or if you have a web designer who can build out these things for you, which most people nowadays are just using programs that you can build these out in a couple minutes. Um, you can say, hey, this is a pretty cool page, let me just copy this and and uh, and build a list and then send people to this page. So just, just imagine for a second, so here, okay, let me just explain how this one works. This one is a zip submit, we call this a zip submit, which means that somebody just has to enter their zip code and we get paid money. In this case, th this is a, uh, it's like a, a uh, this one is like four dollars just for a zip code. All right, um, so so somebody enters their zip code, so we get paid four dollars for that. All right, um, so just keep that in mind. It's just four dollars. All right. Now let's say that this right now at least this page is not collecting an email address. So that's the first thing I notice. Okay, so they're not collecting the email address. So we could just build a page either just like this. And again, I'm, I don't know, I'm not trying to say that you guys have to build a page like this. I'm just saying, you know, that you can build a very simple opt-in page that says the exact same thing here. People opt in and then the next page they say, enter your zip code to start. All right. So now you have that person's email address. Let's say it costs you, uh, you know, 50 cents 
or to get that person's email address, however you're advertising, or if you're just marketing it to a list, it might cost you less than that to get that email address. But you get paid four dollars for the zip code. You know that's very easy to be to 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 become profitable when you're doing that type of uh, monetization. All right. So let's just hypothetically say somebody opts in and they go to this page, and all they have to do is enter their zip code. So I'm just going to enter a zip code here, and this one is is a, a unique. Um, type of monetization. Uh, it's more advanced, but I, I want to show you guys how this works um, so that you can see the potential of CPA marketing. All right. So um, so as you can see here, it goes to a page that looks like really bland. It's like, okay, what's going on here? It's, it, it's a page with essentially with, with ads. All right. Um, so let me just say, okay, I want to click on this ad. So we've already made $4. So we've entered our zip code there and our the visitors entered the zip code. We've made money off already. So this offer is is interesting. We call this, and I don't want to get too advanced, but I just want to show you guys what type of stuff is possible on you know like uh, on a large level, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars a month with these type of very simple offers. This offer is just they're what we call click click arbitrage. They're getting paid, um, and this is a different type of click arbitrage than you guys might be uh, know, but like so they're they're putting ads here, and if I clicked on this ad, this company would have to you know pay. The company that this company here, you know, let's say five dollars for the click or whatever, because dental uh, implant clicks are pretty expensive. You know, people who are looking for dentists, you know, are going to end up paying a lot of money. Um, so people will pay a lot for these clicks to show their ads here. So there are services out there that do that. Again, this is more advanced, but I just want to show you the type of monetization pathways that are out there um, that that uh, you can leverage. Not necessarily saying you have to build this out, but you can leverage the fact that they're paying. You know, um, you know, you know, you know, several dollars for the zip code, and you can just collect the email address on the front end. Because in this case, they're not even collecting the email address; they're just arbitraging the clicks. They know that that click, you know, on they know that if they get a hundred people to the site to enter their zip code, let's say eighty percent of them, I, and I'm just kind of, that was just kind of a random number, are going to click on an ad, and they know that each ad on average is going to earn them. Five dollars or whatever per click. They can do the math and say, okay, we can afford to pay X amount of dollars for a zip code. So therefore, you know, they will. That's what they. That's what they'll um, pay. And as long as you can send people to this type of offer in a large amount, uh, they'll happily pay. And this offer in particular um, can take at least, you know, uh, the one that we work with can take up to ten thousand leads a day. I mean, a day. You know, so uh, that's uh, and if they're paying, you know, uh, let's just, let's just say if they're just paying two dollars a lead. You know, that's twenty thousand dollars a day that they're paying out just for this information here. All right. So um uh so so that's and this is just one offer. You know, so it's that's the potential of of this stuff. And um so I just want you guys to understand. But again, when I see this, I'm like, okay, they're not even collecting the email address because they're just making so much money on the clicks. They're not doing it, but they would make a ton more money. So this is the type of company we would contact. I would have one of my team contact and say, hey, can we? Uh, put you know, can we build this offer out for you and put the email address on the front end and, and monetize your back end with the emails and you know so so um, those are other opportunities but this is a, a another example of a monetization pathway um, that people are doing in the CPA marketing world all right massive volume massive volumes hundreds of thousands of dollars a month uh, with this stuff um, all right so um, so I think you guys kind of understand uh, most of this at this point what I wanted to talk about. Um, as we kind of go through this stuff, um, is is um, is the the bigger picture here? Because every time, at least the, the kind of the people that I interact with, it's like, okay, it's cool to make a thousand dollars a day. You know, nobody's going to complain about that. But most of the people that I work with, they're like, how do I make a hundred thousand a month? Or in some cases, some of our clients, you know, they're trying to scale to a million a month. You know. Um, you know, so it's like, okay, well, you know, how, how what is the the potential of of monetizing and building out sites where you're using email and different strategies uh, to do that in the CPA marketing world where essentially you don't really even have a product. You don't have your own product or service. Um, you just, you're just basically getting a lead and selling it to somebody else. All right, so I, we always look at that. All right, so, um, so what we call like bank rate, I don't know how many of you are familiar with bank rate, but essentially we call these sites glorified affiliates. All right, these these are like really huge sites. They they look you know really official. You know they get a ton of traffic. But at the end of the day, this site is a glorified affiliate site. All right, all they're really doing you know for the most part is just selling leads 
to to, to uh, mortgage companies, to insurance companies, to credit card companies, to auto sh companies. You know, to, they're just they're just selling leads. All right. So um, you know, it's not unrealistic for somebody who starts with just you know building a list. You know, by buying traffic, which I'll be talking about uh, next session. Um, you know, buying traffic, generating email addresses. You know, to going over time to building out something like this. I have several clients that that. Um, have sites like this, all right, and all the and they don't have products; they're just selling leads to to the to to these companies who can take leads like this. So we call these sites glorified affiliates, and um, because they're just selling leads, but they they these are you know um, uh, these companies make t tens of millions of dollars. You know, um, another one is a uh, lending tree. Um, so again, this company, even though this lending tree is um, they are a um, uh, a licensed mortgage broker, so they—I guess—they have their own mortgage business. But uh, what I want to—well, let me get back to Bankrate. If you—if you go to these sites, if you go to Bankrate.com, um, and uh, and you see, like at the bottom, it says Bankrate.com is an independent advertising supported publisher. You know, Bankrate may be compensated in exchange for future placement of certain sponsored products and services. You know, so they're affiliates. They're affiliates, but they get a ton of traffic. Um, you know, and they're just monetizing it. Uh, you know, they have ads and all that stuff too. But uh, you know, a, a lot of that stuff is they're just selling the leads. It, it's a it's a high level monetization pathway. So for the people who are like, how can I make you know half a million a month? You know, because again, the people that I deal with, that's the conversation that they have. So you know, that's the conversation that we have. You know, so they're they're not looking just to make you know a couple thousand dollars a day. Which again, that is not something to like sneeze at. That but but obviously, as you, the longer you do this stuff, you kind of work with higher and higher level people in different in different industries you know who are looking to really make a, a lot of money by generating leads essentially all right so um, and not necessarily creating their own products they're just creating their own um, they're building their own database because their own their product or their services is their database the value that they provide to their database and they're just selling those leads to companies who are you know that are willing to buy them um, again lending tree same thing if you look at here it's it's a is a uh, Lending Tree LLC is a marketing lead generator. You know, I don't know if you guys can see that, but if you went to this site, um, they're, they're generating leads. They literally say that on their site. You know, but uh, these sites are huge. They're massive. They do tens of millions of dollars. Um, all right. So I just wanted. So for those of you who are like, well, what's the potential? What's the bigger picture? How far can I take this? Um, in the CPA marketing space, you know, as you can see, this is you know these this is a broad based stuff. You know, and a lot of in, in you know even though I'm talking about stuff that mainly is, is the United States, this is a global, you know, there's, there's a lot of global opportunities with this as well. Um, uh, a few other ones that I wanted to go through um, is, uh, and, I, and I'll answer some questions uh, as, after I kind of finish uh, just a few more. Um, again, this is another CPA offer. So the reason I'm showing you the, these different ones, I wanted to show you guys it's not about like one type of thing, you know, because some people, you know, a lot of people will say, oh, does this only work with, you know, uh, biz op or does this only work with you know loans it's like no this it, it you could there's a, a huge potential across multiple multiple niches um, because that's usually one of the most common questions I get um, so this one is, is really popular nowadays student loan reduction program you know people who have student loans they want to get reduce their student loans so this is a CPA offer um, you know that pays you know uh, this it might be fifteen to twenty dollars. I can't remember the exact amount, but you know this is a people who have student loans and want to get their payments lowered. This converts very well. I mean, this is a very high converting type of offer. All right, um, and there's a lot of demand for this. So let's say that you know. Um, so the way that we will look at this, uh, there's um, uh, there's different uh, um, opt-in page creators like LeadPages.net is one and. and Click funnels and then uh, yeah, unbounce, and then there's different pages that they you can you can they can create opt-in pages for you. We would usually like take this wording here. We would put it on our own very simple opt-in page. You know, collect the email address and then send them here. You know, and then we'd follow up with them with relevant information because we know just like I and the reason that I was showing you all these different offers is that if somebody's interested in lowering their payments, you know, they might also have uh, credit issues, so they might want to get a credit repair. You know, uh, through a company called Lexington Law, which pays just for a lead. You know, um, or they might want to, um, they might want to be getting a, get an auto loan. You know, because somebody who, um, you know, may have student loan, they might be looking for a new car. So there's there's a lot of cross selling opportunities. And again, these are all lead generation type of stuff where not somebody doesn't have to buy anything for you to make money. All right. So um. So yeah. So that's basically uh, 
uh, how this works, but again, these are very popular offers, and you can see, again, you're just completing these forms, people are completing these forms and you make money. So I think I've kind of really uh, uh, established that. Uh, one other one, there's a few other ones I wanted to go through. So this one is rent to own, another very popular offer in the CPA marketing space. Um, that uh, people do. So this is just like the example that I talked about before. And uh, so you can start thinking about this stuff. It's like, okay, well, how can I build my email list? And how can I, you know, I build, I get people to opt in, you know, and then as soon as they opt in, I send them to something like this. You know, so if it costs me 50 cents to get an opt-in email, and then I get somebody to enter their zip code here, I get paid $2, and, you know, and I get 80% of the people who opt in to enter their zip code here, um, which is usually pretty much average. Like if it's a simple form and they've opted in and given their email, it's very it, it, you have a it's a high percentage of people. Usually in our case, anywhere from 75 to 80 percent of the people who enter their email address on a simple form and go to something like this, they will complete the next step. All right. So you know if we had 100 people um, that we get their email address and let's say it costs us 50 cents to get 100 people to opt in. Um, and I'm talking about numbers here, and I'm going to get a lot deeper into numbers next week. Um, but let's say it costs 50 cents to get 100 opt-ins. That's $50, all right? So let's say that of those 100 opt-ins, 80 of them enter their information here, and we get paid $2. So that's $160. You know, if we get paid $2 times 80 people, that's $160. So that we were basically essentially triple our money, and I'm not, again, I'm not guaranteeing that that would happen with everybody, but the point is is that I want people to understand the power of, of this, and I'm going to talk about this next week, what I call uh, a concept uh, that I that I coined monetization momentum, which, again, I like to use the word monetization a lot. So uh, I'll talk about the importance of understanding the, the, uh, the ability to generate a lead for a certain cost and then monetize it immediately afterwards, um, and in, 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 in a lot of cases, make money immediately, you know, and with CPA marketing, the beautiful thing about that is you make money just by somebody completing a form. It's not like you have to wait for them to pull out the credit card and buy something. So when you can do that like that, you, it, you, it, you can scale, uh, you know, uh, pretty substantially. Um, so again, that is an example of, of this, and this type of offer is like works fantastically well um, with the CPA marketing space. A lot of people are in that. And the last one I wanted to go over uh, is, is business to business stuff. So, um, so most of the stuff that most people do is what we call business to consumer. You know, so you know, people, you know, I, I'm a business and I'm marketing to consumers. I'm a consumer who wants to get a loan or get money for school or, or whatever. You know, so we're a B to C as we call it. Uh, but there are also offers that you can market to other business. B to B offers, as we call them, business to business offers. All right, um, and these offers, you know, in a lot of cases, most of them are like getting business loans. Essentially, that's uh, you know, again, we like to do a lot of stuff in the financial space. Um, so these offers, uh, depending on you know, there's several of these types of offers. Some of them can pay anywhere from you know, uh, thirty to forty dollars. Again, for the form, because and the, and the fact is, when you're dealing with businesses, most of the time they're they're getting you know, they're probably borrowing a lot more money than a, a, per, a consumer. All right. So, uh, so long story short is that you can use this, uh, you can use the same process I've been talking about, putting an opt-in page that you have, that you've built, um, or that you use softwares to build, um, and, you know, uh, using the, just from a content set standpoint, we would use, like, the main wording that they have here. We, would, we wouldn't try to be fancy and creative. We would take the stuff that they're already saying, put it on our own very simple opt-in page, and some people are asking some opt-in softwares. I can, I'll put that in the check box. So you guys can see again. You know, there's a bunch of them out there, but just so you kind of can get an understanding of, of what I'm talking about here, um, they opt in. You now they're on your list. Now you know, let's say, cost you you know five dollars to get an opt-in. You know, but you know that 80% of them who opt in complete this form, and you're getting paid thirty dollars here. Do do the math. You know, so this is how you're able to scale with this stuff. Build a list. And and you know generate leads and uh, and, and basically uh, just rinse and repeat. All right. So so in a nutshell, you know that that's kind of uh, monetization pathways. You know f from advanced to really simple. Um, but the simple ones, you know, like this one here, the dental one. You know, uh, you know they're paying out you know uh, upwards of you know forty thousand dollars a day. You know to affiliates. You know just to for zip codes. You know. So I mean the uh, it's it's a that's and that's just one network. You know. So you just kind of keep in mind the, the huge uh, potential with this stuff on a, a daily basis. Um, 
All right, so uh, I ha there was a couple questions uh, that I want to get answered here because um, I know we were uh, running short on time. Um, okay, yeah, so, there, so so as far as the, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, where's the chat box here? Um, there was a couple opt-in pages, softwares that, that I mentioned that some people are asking about. Again, there's a ton of them out there. Um, let me just see if I can just actually pull it up. And, you know, it's not my affiliate links or anything like that, and, you know, and I don't know if, um, if, if you guys haven't talked about some other ones, but let me just pull up a few here. Um, just so you can see, you know, because I, I didn't go through necessarily like the simple pages because it's, 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 I wanted more so to talk about the concept. Um, okay, so um, there's like these landing page builders like, um, like uh, uh, lead pages. I'm sure most of you guys have heard about this. This is, you know, nothing um, fancy here, uh, but like, so they have pages that you, you know, that are already pre-built, you know, and, and I don't know how, how detailed you guys went into this stuff, um, that you, you know, some of them are more advanced than others, but there's some super simple ones that you can use, and maybe next week I'll provide some, some examples, because they don't have really a ton of examples on their homepage, um, but like, you know, these are opt-in pages, essentially, you know, and these look all fancy, but we found that the stuff that's simple converts a lot better than the fancy stuff, um, so, um, so anyway, long story short is that uh, you can use services like this and then unbounce is that yeah unbounce pages it's a weird name but um they have they have pages too and I'm not saying that you guys have to go out and buy this type of stuff but I'm saying that there's services out there so you don't think like okay this seems really complicated how do I build an opt-in page you know there's services that can do that for you and you know um, you can use CPA marketing as a way to what we call uh, arbitrage your email amount of money to get an email address and you know that you can make a certain amount of money by sending them to a CPA offer you can arbitrage the cost so you're like okay it's going to cost me 50 cents and I know on average I'm going to make a dollar for each email address so I'm going to try to get as many 50 cent email addresses as possible you know and that's you know that's how we look at the uh, the whole CPA marketing game you know um, and again, there's uh, one thing that I, I want to mention is there's different levels to this stuff. A lot of the stuff that we do might be, you know, can get pretty advanced, uh, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to get advanced to make a lot of money. Uh, when we first started doing uh, email marketing, um, like uh, CPA marketing, particularly with email marketing, our stuff was like super simple. People are like, um, one of our clients who made over uh, $10 million from one of our monetization pathways back in 2011. Um, it was like I did a case study. We had a private mastermind. It was people paid like twenty five thousand um, dollars, and I was one. I was just, I was just at the mastermind. I was attending the mastermind, um, kind of like as I was behind the scenes. I didn't, you know, I was my uh, one of my mentors was holding it, and he invited me um, just because he wanted me to present at the mastermind um, because he knew that I was, you know, we were kind of like making all this money with these very simple opt-in pages basically is what they were and um, so I presented it you know um, one of the guys who was in the mastermind said hey can you show me how to do this you know I said yeah we'll show you he's like here's here's the pages here's how we did it here's the offer that we used um, and he, he went over to make over uh, 10 million dollars doing it you know so we're like, okay there's something to this you know because we we you know we were actually competing with each other like he's like how much did you do this month we were like you know we did a hundred thousand and he's like oh I did 150 so we're like oh my you know this guy's killing it so I mean the point is is that um that uh, there with simple stuff, you know, you don't have to make it all complex. You can make a ton of money. Then, as you kind of get deeper into it, you can say, okay, let me build it out even more. So, let me get more uh, uh, strategic with it. Um, and in some cases, you're like, just give me the email address. I'm just going to mail the offers because I have the database. Because there comes a point where you have the lists already. You, you know, you're building a list, and you don't need you. You can just send them to the offers. So, like I said before, um, let me pull it up. Like, you, if you built the list. Let me just, where's the other page out here? Give me a second, guys. I'm jumping around here. Sorry about that. So if you built the list, um, you, uh, uh, where am I at? Why is it not coming up right now? Oh, here it is. Okay. So when you build a list, like let's, let's say you, you, let's say you had off the page as simple as this, you don't need to create all those funnels like where you're saying, okay, these people have to go through 10 steps of, to, of different CPA offers. You could just send them emails directly linking them here because you already have them on your list. You know, so you can say, okay, well, they're on my list already. I'm just going to send this offer today or I'm just going to send them, you know, uh, this offer today or this offer today. So it's not a situation where you have to build out a bunch of fancy sites. You can just have one. 
that's simple and then send them CPA offers. That's a lot of what we do, you know, um, and uh, that's a lot of what we've, we've taught guys like Anthony and, and some of our other students, like here's offers that convert, here's how to build a list, send these emails to this list and make money, you know, um, so that's kind of in a nutshell um, how we do it. Um, all right, so next week um, I was going to uh, go over um, a few case studies, uh, uh, but basically breaking down the numbers, because at the end of the day it's, it's cool for me to kind of show these pages and, and say this is how you can do it, but more so talking about like how the numbers look, um, uh, because you know, I'm a numbers guy, at least in my business, as far as like, you know, how do we scale this? Because a lot of people come to me, that's that's what they're focused on. And they're like, I'm, I'm, you know, and in some, to some of you guys, this may sound odd, but some people that I work with, it's like they're, they're not interested in making a thousand. To, um, make 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 sale it out. So I'm to talk about, you know, hey Rico, generate uh, your uh, your audio is pretty massive to your uh, uh, okay. Yeah, your your uh, your audio is kind of gone. Right now. Huh? Okay. Um, yeah. Am I there? Am, am I here now? Yep. Yes. No. Okay. What about now? Good. And now you're gone again. So while we uh, while we let Rico fix oh. this up, how many of you have enjoyed uh, the presentation tonight? Just say yes. I want to see uh, how many of you feel like you learned an awful lot. Everybody, I see some hell yeses. This is good. All right. Very, very, very good. How many of you are excited to uh, to learn from Rico right here next week? Just want to know um, if you feel like it's going to be worth an hour of your time next week. Good deal. Good deal. Yeah. So, like I said um, earlier, you know, uh, the stuff that that Rico teaches is a little outside the box. It's not what you're going to see on the typical email marketing webinar. You're not going to hear, you know. 500 other people teach it. I mean, most of the, the people that are doing what Rico is doing, um, they're not selling their courses. They're not, you know, doing a lot of uh, a lot of webinars. I mean, they're they're in their business working every single day, you know, growing and monetizing. So it's um, it, it's it's really cool that you know that he took the time to to hop on here um, and, and teach you guys. But I felt like, you know, like I said earlier, it's really important to me. Um, if you know, if I'm going to, uh, you know, if I'm going to going to teach you email marketing, I, I kind of want to teach you the path that I went down and show you the things that I've done. Um, there are a lot of things that I've taught you to date. A lot of uh, things that are in our our course that are um, are the things that I've done, and they're awesome and they work, and I've had a lot of success with it. Um, but as a successful person, I think Rico alluded to this earlier. We always want to grow. We always want to expand, and we always want to uh, to be learning, and and so that's the same thing that uh, that happened with me. I wanted to grow our business. I wanted to learn more, and I wanted to expand, and uh, and that's what really what got us into this this whole you know lead monetization. We wanted to expand into another uh, you know another kind of I guess seg you know another segment of email marketing that we had not um, that we had not done anything in, and and his team has uh, has taught us an awful lot. Um, so it's been been a lot of fun. It's been a learning uh, learning process for me. So if you don't get it all, I mean, if you're not like, oh gosh, I can go right in there and do this right now, that's okay. Um, understand that it, it took me, um, you know, it took me a while to uh, to you know to figure that out as well. And so you know, um, I think that's kind of part, you know, part of the process. Um, you you kind of learn as you go. Um, so you know, uh, I think that's I think that's really important. Uh, that's really important, um, and so yeah. Obviously, um, I'm I'm glad Rico is your audio back. Uh, yeah, hopefully. Can you guys hear me now? It's a little low, but I think okay. everybody can hear you now. All right. All right. So if you if you, okay. if you have anything cool. else you want to say, I know you were 
kind of going off? Uh, yeah, no, I just wanted to talk about what the next session was. Um, yeah, so the, again, I'm just going to talk about breaking down the numbers and uh, and just the traffic side of things, you know, how we are generating traffic, different ways, you know, there's not just one way, but uh, so you guys can uh, uh, kind of see the, the full picture. Um, but um, but I knew you know we we don't I didn't want to be on for three hours so I wanted that's why we kind of decided to break it up into to two sessions yeah. like that there but um, yeah. but yeah I I appreciate I appreciate everything guys it was um, uh, looks like we got a really a lot of good feedback so I'm glad I kind of you know um, everybody kind of understood what I was kind of talking about they saw the bigger picture in some cases I see some of you guys kind of like light bulbs went off and things like that so I'm always excited about that. Um, that people kind of got got it, and uh, hopefully um, this kind of gets your your mind going on, on what's really possible, um, and uh, and and the level. So it's not like you you can keep growing. There's not like it's not like there's a, a, a ceiling that you can reach when it comes to this stuff. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, uh, another thing I'll I'll mention to you guys is that you know Rico does have some uh, some some private all kinds of different things. Um, like I said, I met his students, and his students actually are the ones that that came here and taught me. So Rico's got some uh, some advanced courses. He's got some masterminds. He's got some of those types of things. So I'll get you information on that stuff um, at a later date. Really, I, I kind of want you to focus on. Um, you know, I see a lot of you asking me, can you know, can you can you earn some of this from Rico? <laughs> God. Um, yeah, the answer is obviously at some point, um, you know, whenever we're finished, um, I'll be happy to, uh, to introduce you to, to some of the stuff that Rico has, um, has going on. But, you know, for now, just understand that you're getting, uh, you're getting his training completely free. And uh, Rico, the, the guys that came down here, I won't mention their names because I haven't talked to them, but they, you know, they, were, they, told, they told me anyway they, they pay quite a lot every month just for consulting, yeah? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Yeah, I mean, we yeah we were like, because they were like, oh, like you guys are killing. I was like, you guys are making money. They're like, oh, we still want help, and you know, they just wanted to kind of, you know, they're like, I mean, they kind of like almost forced us. They're like, oh, how, we, we'll just pay you guys money just to kind of keep you close. Yeah. And it was kind of, I was like, oh, we were like, oh, okay. I mean, it, it actually turned out to a really good situation. But yeah, they, uh, they were so, I mean, and you know, they're making money, you know, so it's not like, um, they're, yeah. they're, they're looking at it as an investment, but it was a pretty funny situation when, uh, yeah, I mean, th those guys were. Like when I, just so you all know, the guys that, that came here and taught me this, I mean, when they were teaching me, um, they were at like 200 grand, uh, you know, give or take per month, and um, and they had just started learning Rico stuff. Like I think it was six months prior is what they were telling me, and that they had started this and they had already built it up to 200 grand. Now that's a huge number, obviously. I'm not trying to get you excited about 200 grand, but the point that I'm trying to make is is that these guys pay tens of thousands of dollars. Okay, um, I won't say the exact amount, but tens of thousands of dollars uh, for Rico's training and his ongoing training, and uh, and and then they made a ton of money. So I mean, obviously it was worth it. And so I want you to just understand the value of of, of being able to uh, to be here with Rico, to to be on this webinar, and, and hopefully you all enjoyed it. And, um, and you'll be back next week because uh, we've got part two of this, which I think is uh, is going to blow your mind because a lot of you, how many of you are always you know, obviously with our program we've given you a little jump start on the list building, but how many of you, your number one concern right now is, I want to build my list, I want to build my list, I want to build my list. I'm just interested. Okay. All of you? Okay. Well, Rico has a way to teach you to build your list, okay, that I have never seen until I met him. I didn't even know it exists. I had no clue what it was. I didn't know it was even possible, um, and I've been doing marketing for a long time. So, um, so I'm I'm excited uh, to to have you guys to have you guys learn this and have the opportunity to uh, to to you know to learn with Rico and uh, and and kind of go along the path that that I'm going along as, as well as I kind of grow my business. So, um, yeah. So listen, next Thursday, right here, uh, same place, same time. Um, will be available, and Rico will be on, and we'll be going through part two of uh, of the of these strategies, monetization strategies, and teaching you how to generate the traffic, uh, which will obviously build the list, and then how to break down the numbers so that you can see how you make a profit and how you grow and how you scale. How many of you are excited about this? And guarantee me, you will be here next week. Just say yes. 
That's all I need to know. I expect to see every single one of you here next week. Rico, thank you for uh, for the time tonight. Thank you for missing the uh, missing the basketball to be here with us. We appreciate it. And yeah, so listen, I think we've kind of lost a little bit of, of Rico's audio, so all good. Um, all right, everybody, I'm going to oh, sign off for now. Uh, there, this will be replayed. Uh, we'll put it in your members area. Um, it'll be there probably tomorrow. We'll have Nick throw it in, and uh, <clears throat> I think that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, you can go back in, take notes, listen, learn, pay close attention, and uh, and get yourself really excited. And, and and I see a lot of you reminding me about the $250. My bad, my mistake. I forgot about it. Um, I was so uh, so excited about this. Nick, do you mind uh, uh, do you mind uh, picking a uh, winner for me real quick? And shooting it over to me, um, so we'll have a, a winner picked here in just a second for the for the two hundred and fifty dollars. That's my bad. Um, got so excited about Rico's training and seeing everybody else uh, was so excited about it. It looks like uh, looks like most of you forgot about it. <laughs> um, also, some of you are asking me about the one hundred and eighty day autoresponder message. Um, we have those. I just spoke to our copywriter. Um, they will be finished, he said, tonight, so that means probably tomorrow. Um, but when they are finished, they will be uploaded into your uh, Inbox Inner Circle members area. So just check your members area. You'll see the 180-day autoresponder series. It will be there waiting for you, ready to download. And, uh, and then you can obviously use that and implement that. That's my gift to you uh, for being on here and for, uh, for, um, for taking care of... Uh, of your job, which is listening, learning, showing up, attending, all of that good stuff. Okay, um, Reuben Williams, you had talked to me about you won the $250 last week, and you just asked me in the chat box how you will be able to use it. Um, we sent you a money order, so you can use it to uh, go out and have a great dinner. You can use it to buy a great program, a great piece of software. You can use it for whatever in the world you want. Uh, that's your gift, your money. It's absolutely nothing uh, that you have to spend with us. Um, do with it what you please. Uh, you earned it for, for being here and for listening and learning. And this week, uh, Nick has um, Nick has picked a winner. Um, our winner for the uh, $250 today is Mary Duff. So Mary Duff, congratulations. Uh, Nick, please shoot me her uh, her email address. Mary will be sending you an email, and uh, you'll get uh, you'll just have to respond. Give me your address. We'll make sure we send you the check, and uh, everybody say congrats to Mary, and I want to thank you all for being here again. You know, I always leave you with a little, uh, some words of wisdom. Um, this is our, I think, fourth, uh, fourth meeting, and I want you to know that our attendance rate has stayed, uh, has stayed pretty consistent, pretty high. However, um, I did see a sharp, uh, a little bit of a drop from last week to this week, probably about 100 people from maxing out this week, and every week we're, we're normally maxed out. So it's important for you to realize that um, we offer these training sessions com obviously completely free. Um, they're for your own benefit. They're for your own good. Um, it's kind of like the whole you can lead a, a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. Um, we can give you the opportunity, but we can't make you seize it. We can't make you take action. We can't make you do something. But I do want to congratulate all of you that are here right now on webinar number four and on training number four because you are obviously in the highest percentage of our students. And what I'm looking for is the people that are going to be on our last webinar, the ones that are going to be on webinar number seven. And you're still going to be here, and I can go back in and consistently see that you were on number one and on number seven and everyone in between. And when you're there and when you, when you fit that criteria, you will have seized the moment. You will have taken full advantage of everything we have to offer you, everything we have to teach you, every person that I can bring on like Rico that can share just little bits of knowledge that can help you on your path to having success, to making money, to building your business, and really ultimately to building your own financial security and stability. So it's very important that you keep the end goal in mind, and that is success at a high level. And in order to get there, you've got to take all those little baby steps in between. And these webinars and these trainings are those baby steps in between. So congratulations to all of you that are on. I appreciate it. Understand that it doesn't go unnoticed, those of you that are on every single training that we have every single week, giving us an hour, hour and a half of your time so that we can give you the knowledge, wisdom, capabilities, and direction that we have to hopefully help you build your business 
to massive, massive, massively successful levels. So thank you all for being here. Give yourself a pat on the back. Maybe take a minute, uh, go smile at yourself in the mirror. <laughs> and enjoy the rest of your night. Make sure that you attend next week. Thank you, Rico. We'll see you again uh, next Thursday as well. And uh, we'll put this replay up for all of you. Have a good rest of the night, a good weekend, a good next week, and we'll see you all Thursday. Thanks, guys, for everything. We'll see you next week.